And now it's time for the Dumb Question of the Month. Here to answer this month's dumb question, James Patrick Holden. Hello folks. For this month's dumb question, we have a bit of a panel discussion at reader request. The question is, did King James invent hell? Did I get that right? Yeah, that's right. And I want to say before we start that I appreciate you at least making this show fair and balanced by having me on. Okay. Also with us to discuss this question, um, King James. How's it hanging, Jimmy? Now see here, sir. Thou hast not brought proper semblance to these proceedings. They be far too informal. Okay, well, if you get too uncomfortable, we'll get you a concrete pillow to sit on. Anyway, let's get to the question. Uh, Fundy Atheist, tell us what the problem is, supposedly. Ha, I got you this time. The Hebrew words Jehenna and Sheol mean grave. But the New Testament uses the Greek word Hades, which refers to the Greek god of death and the Greek afterlife. How do we go from Hebrew words meaning death to the idea of hell? It's easy. Christians made hell up. For that, you can blame someone like King Jimmy over here. <laughs> How dare thee! It took many years of research to write mine King James Bible. Besides, has thee not seen the works of David? Here he speaketh of his son with God in paradise. And here he saith they do not praise him who are dead and wicked. Well, who asked you? You said unicorns existed. Now see it here. Uh, one moment, please. Who the heck are you? I'm Dante. You don't look like a Devil May Cry character. No, no, no. I'm Dante. I wrote this book. Now, do you really think I could have written this without a biblical basis of some kind? Admittedly, the metaphors and some of the theology must also be attributed to Aquinas. Even so, how do you explain what I've written here? Man, what a prude. Now look, you make it out that someone pulled hell and the Hebrews' knowledge of it out of nowhere. But these guys have a point. The Psalms, Micah, Ezekiel, they all give a solid case for the existence of hell as a state of shame. That's essentially what the grave and Sheol are all about. Now, I might not agree with these guys about the nature of hell, but to say they invented it, come on. Most excellent, my dear fox. I'm not a fox. Didst not that heathen say this program was fair and balanced? Yeah, okay. So, we hope that helps answer the question. What say ye, my friend? Fantastic. We'll see you soon with a continuation of last year's Christmas series. Until next time, this is J.P. Holding. See ya!